one time after he was fucking with me like that and he had a whole bunch of his biker and Vietnam friends mixed together. And he was fucking with me like that and I turned around and looked at him and I said, so daddy, I have an elder question for you. He goes, what's that? I said, when is the right time for me to step up and pop you in your mouth for your disrespect? What age do I have to be before I can do that? I got smacked across the field, but the, his son, he picked me up. He was a truck driver, but he was also a bit non bit. Um, because you do it in front of people. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, that's uh, why. <laughs> son, he picked me up and he looked at me. He goes, baby girl, the answer is when you can keep yourself from getting smacked over here. Dad said, that is not the answer. I said, thank you, Sonny. He goes, you're welcome, baby girl. And all the others others are putting their word in. Like, yep, when you can keep yourself from being smacked for that question, that's when you can. Daddy started to mouth me later in life. I was in my 20s. And I had Jason. And I had the boys. And I felt like he had no right to mouth me for what I was doing. Do you know what I mean? And so I planted my foot and I looked at him. I said, I think it's time, Dad. Go ahead. Open your mouth again. Just like that. And he kind of stopped and looked at me and changed the subject instead of standing his ground. I think one thing people that know me know about me, Tyler, is when I say something, I mean it. Very rarely can you change my mind on something, and you can only change my mind on something if you can convince me I'm wrong and how I was wrong. Otherwise, I don't really give a fuck what you think, because it's only what matters to me. And that fucks people up when you do that. <laughs>